Lesson 1. Oracle Partition by Clause The Structure and Content of the Employee Table Using traditional SQL expressions, if we want to add column with the sum of all salaries, we have to use a subquery. Using analytic functions, we get the same result without the use of subquery. The order by clause changes the way of calculating the sum. We can easily calculate employee salary as portion of the total company salaries. The traditional SQL expression returns departments and their salary sum. Most importantly it groups the records into departments in accordance with the group by clause. Any non-group by column is not allowed in the select clause. Partition identifies rows to aggregate. Rows within the partition must have the same DPID value. Though analytic functions give aggregate result they do not group the result set. They return the group value multiple times with each record. Partition can be defined by multiple columns or expressions. Partition by can take any non-analytic SQL expression.
traditional SQL expression returning the same result set is less intuitive. To specify the order of the records in the partition, we should use the order by clause inside the over clause. This is different from the order by clause of the main query which comes after where. The whole result set can be sorted. The row number function assigns a unique number to each row to which it is applied, either each row in the partition or each row returned by the query, in the ordered sequence of rows specified in the order by clause, beginning with 1. Partition clause is optional, if omitted, entire result set is the partition. More about analytic functions and performance comparison. Visit learnwithvideotutorials.com